Netlify helps you build and deploy fast and reliable websites or apps. But if you're not optimizing your images, you're likely delivering them much larger than they need to be, potentially hurting performance, and even worse, conversion. So let's see how we can easily optimize all the images on our Netlify site with Cloudinary. Optimizing your images is a critical part of any website or app. And when using Netlify, which is going to give you a reliable way to build and deploy your apps, your images will be deployed just like any other asset where it's going to be statically deployed, meaning it's going to be deployed as is with no optimization through that process. So those images are going to dramatically hurt the performance of your application, hurting those performance metrics that your visitors are experiencing like largest contentful paint, where you could potentially have some major savings by delivering them in modern formats in an optimized version. Now there's a lot of ways for how we can optimize our images in the first place, but we're looking for something that's going to be automated and something that's gonna be easy to add to our site, which is where Cloudinary comes in, where we can optimize our images, automatically delivering the most modern format for that particular browser, as well as using automatic quality optimization, which will compress it to a point where it's not going to visually distort your image. Now there's a lot of backend, front end, and mobile SDKs that we can use in order to optimize with Cloudinary, but an easier way is to use the Netlify integration for Cloudinary. To start, first navigate either to your team page where you can find the integration tab or navigate to whatever site you'd like to install Cloudinary to and similarly navigate to the integrations tab. We're inside of the integrations box. You can search for Cloudinary where if we scroll down, we should be able to see the Cloudinary as the first option and let's click enable. Here you can either select the site you'd like to add or if you're already coming from your site, you can go ahead and confirm that you want to install Cloudinary on your site. Where here you want to enter in your cloud name such as my cloud. If you need help finding your cloud name or other Cloudinary credentials, check out the video at the link above. Then we can finally click install plus where once Cloudinary is enabled, we have one last step and that's to trigger a new deploy. So let's head over to the deploys tab. We're under the trigger deploy button. We can go ahead and select that and click deploy site. Where once the deployment is finished, we can open up the page in our browser where at first glance, we might not notice anything different. But if we open up our network tab, we should see dramatically reduced sizes of our images as well as delivering a more modern format for that browser. If we look at this compared to the previous version where we can see that we were originally delivering JPEGs in about 18 megabytes total size, in Chrome, we're delivering AVIF files at under two megabytes, but there's more ways that you can take advantage of the Netlify integration for Cloudinary. So head over to the docs where you can find the configuration options for your site. The Netlify integration for Cloudinary is an easy way to add blanket optimization to your site, but sometimes you want a little bit more control right inside of the code. So next up, let's see how we can integrate with Cloudinary right inside of Next.js app, which not only will give us optimization, but other features like AI generated fill and background removal.